So I always get questions from people asking, you know, can my computer run X or Y game or something like that, and I've been seeing a lot more of these questions come up more and more uh, since, you know, Overwatch is coming closer and closer to release, and since there is the open beta, you know, you can always just play the open beta to try out for free to see if your computer can actually run Overwatch. However, for those who are just curious anyways on whether or not your computer can run Overwatch, and if you guys don't feel like asking me whether or not your computer that runs on gasoline has a fish tank for a monitor, has a GTX potato, and four hamsters running in a big wheel for a CPU, Here's a pretty quick and easy way to figure all that out. Now, of course, of course, people are going to be like, well, Candy, can't you just check out the minimum requirements? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, but the thing is, is like, what if you don't know how powerful your parts are compared to what are on the uh, minimum requirements sheet? You know, I can post the minimum requirements right here. I mean, they're not hard to find. Just Google Overwatch minimum requirements. It'll pop up. But for those who are unsure about your parts, you know, you, you know what parts you have, you're just unsure if, you know, it beats out the minimum requirements, check out this website called User Benchmark. Now, essentially what you want to do, and I can show you guys right now, is click on the link down in the description. And it should take you to this website with the Phenom 8650 triple core already filled out on the left hand side. And all you gotta do is on the right hand side plug in what processor you have already. Now you're looking for basically to see that your processor has a green bar. Basically showing that it has its relative performance is higher. Yeah, pretty straightforward. If you don't know what your specs are, if you don't know what, what CPU you have, just type in the start menu, type in run, and then DXDIAG, and that should run a diagnostic and tell you what your CPU is. Pretty straightforward stuff. Same kind of deal with the GPU, by the way. No, uh, nothing too confusing here. I'll leave the link down in the description to kind of hook it up directly to that uh, user benchmark website, which already have the minimum requirement for this for the GPU, which is the Intel HD 4400 or 4400. And yeah, same kind of deal. Just fill out your GPU. If you don't know what it is, you can use DXDIAG. And yeah, pretty pretty easy stuff. Now, the other side thing that I want to mention is that Overwatch does require DX11, so make sure your GPU can support DX11. Um, if you're not sure, again, consult the DXDIG. And if it doesn't say DX11, chances are your GPU can't run Overwatch. So, yeah, pretty pretty straightforward stuff. I'll leave you know all the stuff down in the description for reference, the minimum requirements, the, the two links for the website. Um, and sort of the command thing you're supposed to type into run. Pretty easy stuff, man. Pretty easy stuff. You guys are still confused somehow, some way. Definitely let me know in the comments. I'll try my best to answer all the questions, but uh, if you guys have the answers and can answer each other, that'd be great. That'd be fantastic. Already I can tell someone in the comments is gonna be like, Candy, instructions were unclear, dick stuck in llama. No, but seriously, if all else fails and like you're still not sure, you're like, well, it's around the cusp, I'm not exactly sure, just go ahead and try it out during the open beta, which is, of course, free to everyone to play starting on May 5th, so definitely keep an eye out for that, especially if you're one of those types who wants to try it out for yourselves, you know, run it in a real-world situation. Anyways, I hope that has helped you guys determine whether or not you need to upgrade your system for Overwatch or not. Uh, if you guys are curious about my specs, I'll leave it down in the description, or, you know what, actually it's also my about section of my channel page, but I'll just copy and paste it for those who are curious, and I guess until next time, I'll see you in the next one.